。好，我们已经在线上了哈，各位应该可以看到我，可以看到我，我在上面打一下字，我打一下 hello， 然后各位如果有看到我们影音的，也可以打一下 hello， 哈、哦，已经进来了就打一下 hello。好，我必须把这边的声音关掉哈。好，我这边有桌上有三部电脑，然后旁边坐的就是我们今天的讲师。Hello, everybody. Hey. Hey. 好，那因为他今天用他自己的电脑，所以他如果要跟各位讲话，就必须要头稍微转过来一点点。So you get to sit on here. Okay. And if I want to show you on the screen, you can move. A little bit. 好，各位，如果可以听到我们的声音跟看到我们的影像的，请打 OK。现在没有开始，正式开始的时间还有八分钟。正式开始的时间还有八分钟。那我要跟各位说明一下今天的环境。刚才黄柏林也打电话来，<笑>他说我们今天要送出一个平板，平板是他给的。那柏林一言对高雄市的双语教学还有城市教育非常非常的关心。那他刚才有打电话来，稍微说一下哈。我们今天会再送出一部他的平板。那目前有七个人、八个人在线上，我想，诶，这可能是一个礼貌或规矩了哈。没事，你上线的时候就写，就像人见面一下 ，Hello, Good afternoon or something。所以各位应该可以从我的左边看到，我们旁边有一个，有一个，我们都常常讲了，老外哈，这是美国人啊。那他在。高雄的餐饮大学，餐旅，餐旅大学，我们是这样，餐饮，餐旅大学是 hospitality and tourism， 这 school， 他在那里当助理教授。Whatever， 但我今天因为既然是外国人，他是会讲一点点中文的哈，应该是很流利的。但是我希望他今天可以的话，尽量就是我们用英文跟大家沟通，这是我们课程的目的。那呃 ，Debbie 还没有问题哈 ，Debbie 没有问题，他是可以讲一点点中文，但下一周的。是完全不会讲中文的哈、哦。下一周那一位，哎，下下周，下下周 ，the week after next week， 好，我们就讲下下周。好，那现在陆陆续续有人上线哈、哦，上了线的就请打一下 ，give us a greeting， 就是 hello or something， 就是 that you can。如果你看得到的声音跟影像是清楚的话，就打一下声音形象清楚，好不好？那我待会会把它转到画面哈、哦，因为现在刚开始而已，各位就可以看到。You want to see that? Yeah. No, you cannot see that.、Oh, okay, okay. That's multi-screen.、Oh, That's only okay, for monitor,、okay. so you cannot see that.、Oh, okay. And this film is about twenty minutes, twenty seconds delay. Late, They have late.、Uh, mm, okay. So, right. so if I want to ask questions and I want them to respond, they will respond、mm -hmm, there.、Mm -hmm. You can just say, and they will respond here. All right. On the screen. All right. But I can control. I will see that. All right. All right. Uh. -uh. This is our real, and I will show you a screen here. Put this one, and then I say, "In China," and then in Chang. 好，我现在要把，这是我们今天直播，想各位今天的直播都是从这里得到哦，得到这个讯息所以才连上来的。哦，你们大概都是从这里点这个网址嘛？哈，我准时在。五分钟前，一点五十分把它连进来，所以那它的一幕在这个地方。待会都要看它的一幕，它的一幕在这里。好，所以这样子，那个 David 就可以看到的 screen 在线上。那那个声音是有那个影像跟声音是，实际上是有二十秒的 delay， 二十秒 delay 没有关系，各位就在线上回应我的信息。现在十二个人哈，那我们。我们今天也有一个有奖征答，有奖征答，在我们上课的时候就会讲答案的，各位都不用担心，我们绝对不会去考各位的英文能力，我觉得那个不是很有意义啦哈，因为我们这里不是要去考各位英文能力的时候。那如果你今天有听，今天其实 David 要跟介绍各位的是一个软体，它叫 Quizlet。那 Quizlet 我跟各位讲哈，现在在国中小使用最广，我我想各位很多人都知道了哈，现在在国中小使用最多的。教学软体大概就是那个卡户，那卡户又第二个大概就是这个 Quizlet， 两个有异曲同工之妙。那
，David 给各位的影片哈，因为我们还有一点时间，等陆陆信息会上线的哈，陆陆信息两点钟会上线，因为有些人可能都要经过一段摸索哈。那我还是跟各位讲，因为各位以前都没有学过数位化，可能这一次是最正式的，这一次是你最正式看一个不在学校的平台，不是说有某一个大学。中小学很少开线上，不多了，都教育局帮你们开。但那时候的线上都只有影音，几乎你看不到一个平台。那温教授就是用 Google Classroom 整合 FB， 然后画出了一个真正的教学平台，它是蛮完整的。好、哦，而且我们也可以知道各位的学习历程。啊，今天照样有一个有奖真答，各位可以看到有奖真答的那个题目，我们是放在这个地方，我把屏幕秀给各位看哈。如果各位进到这里，我记得这边有一个有奖征答啊，待会他那个那个吴老师啊哈，在讲的时候他就会讲答案了，是在下面吧 ？Should be somewhere here。这个都是后来有人在那个哈，有人贴一些文的都不错了哈。这你这你贴的 ？No no 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 no， someone just mentioned your name there。OK yeah。OK then， 那么下好有奖征答在这里，各位应该有看到我的画面哈。就是往下移哈，就第二周。那这里就是各位可以到 Google Form， 你各位先等一下，你也可以先打嘛。好，那你等一下要知道今天的正确答案是什么。哎，如果 click in， 它就会有一个 Google Form。哦，那 Google Form 就可以打这边的答案。我还是把屏幕丢回丢回我们的那个吴老师的画面，这是他的画面，因为他现在还是在待机状态，他还没有真正真正开播哈。那。现在离上课时间大概还有两分钟，好，我跟各位讲哈，各位就是可能要把那个地图跟懒人包把它看一下，看一下，因为有的人都还会问我说那个扣是多少？你要知道，如果一个老师要应付五百个人，每一个人都都，其实我们都有讲了那个扣哈啊，也不见得全部的人。目前我们我们这个课程其实是蛮不错的，在这个 F B 上已经有六百多人了，六百一十二人，在 F B 上六百一十二人。那么报名的有五百一十个人，那登录我现在也可以秀给各位看嘛？登录我们，我现在可以给各位看哦。登录我们课程的人数，从这里可以看得出来。登录我们课程就 Google Classroom 的人数因为我用的是企业版，啊，企业版人数可以到一千人，它可以到一千人，人数可以有很多。那目前我们报名的人数在这里，它可以看得到哈。这个就是说，这是我的老师账户嘛。目前登入了三百人，五百人登入三百人算是不错了哈。他不可能每个人都登入，因为有些人不用 F V， 那有些人要登入这个，还有一点点，还有一点点。怎么讲？这操作也没有那么熟练呐。那三百人，我觉得是蛮不错的哈。都啊，我要跟各位说明一下，我们这个课程目前报名五百人，大概已经达到教育局最初的期待了。当初我们跟教育局提出这个计划的构想的时候，就以五百人为原则哈。所以未来我们会开放。对，我要跟各位提醒一下哦，我要跟各位提醒一下，如果你是老师，你还没有登入那个教师认证实数系统的话，我们这里有一个补登。请各位进到补灯这里，务必要哦，听我说，你一定要到补灯去，去补灯你的，你这样才能够认证二十四小时的延洗时数。我记得我下面有一个补灯，那如果知道网址也可以帮我们贴，好不好？贴在我们现在互动的界面上。呃，今天现在来的有二十一个人，上一次我们有到达一百多人哈、哦，没有关系，人数越少，你得奖的机会越多。哎、那这里有一个补灯，我们来看一下，就是补灯那个教师认证系统的。我在找，我要慢慢找一下哦。可是我这样一直滑动，对你看影片是有伤害。课程代号，这是 Google Classroom 的课程账代号。那跟入平台，好，哎，是不是这个？这个也不是补灯，补灯在。好，我们这边也有讲说，各位可以报名到六月十五了哈，也是我们正式报名时间到六月十五。后面的我们就开放给非高雄市的也都可以来。如果你们有认识非高雄市的老师，他想学，不过他就不能认证延习时数。延习时数今天是最后一天了啦，我来把它找一下补灯这里
，各位看到我的画面，<咳>我把那个网址贴上来哈，我把那个网址贴到我们的讨论板来。哦、呃，我必须要慢慢找，好、哦，我把他的网址贴进来，那就往下找一些啊，我在这里比较好操作。时间快到两点钟了哈。再讲一次哦，高雄市的老师如果当初没有去登录那个教师研习实数认证，今天是最后一天了。我们给各位最后一天了，把那个网址点一下，好，然后把这个网址贴进来，复制 ，Control C， 然后回到我们这个系统来，好，就这里有一个补登的，然后网址就在这里，各位从这里就可以进到那一个网址去做补登了，请帮忙打一下好不好？线上的。线上如果请帮忙打一下，就是如果要补登教师研习时数，一定要高雄的老师哦，哈，一定要高雄的老师，请在这里补登。那我就把时间交给我们今天的 Professor David。So now I give that to you. All right, thank you. And show your screen here. All right, you can see. Okay, here. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm very happy to be here, and I'd like to thank the Gaussian City Government and Professor Wen for inviting me to join this wonderful class. And uh, I, I did see most of the lesson last week, and I thought it was really good, and there was lots of good information and, and interaction going on. Hopefully, we can continue that this week. Um, so sometimes I will be talking, and sometimes I will ask you to give some feedback, so hopefully you can uh, answer uh, I guess on the YouTube chat, um, um, I guess there's a little bit of a lag, a little bit of a delay, but that's okay. So anyway, uh, my name is David, uh, and again, happy to be here. Uh, this is week two, and the lesson is going to focus on vocabulary and specifically using a, a, an app called Quizlet that you can use on your computer or your uh, phone or your tablet PC. And it's quite useful for lots of things. Uh, today, we're mostly going to focus on vocabulary, but I will also talk about some other different uh, ways you can use the application. So first, I want to kind of check in with people who did homework. So uh, if you join the class and then you use the Google Classroom, there were five questions that were posted about the videos and the readings and uh, the reading, excuse me. And I want to kind of talk a little bit about what, what people said. So uh, the, the five questions were here. And by the way, can everybody hear me clearly? I hope so. If, if you're having I'm trouble, not. maybe you can type a note and then we can Yeah, I'm see. asking now. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I see that, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so the five questions on the Google Classroom were how often do you study English? How do you study English vocabulary? Did you use Quizlet before joining this class? Do you read something in English every day? And can you fit 15 minutes of English practice into your daily schedule? And I did check the information prior to coming here today. So I, I took screenshots of the answers. So I want to talk a little bit about what you guys said. And if you have, if you didn't put, post an answer, you certainly can post an answer now. It's never too late. Uh, so please post to Google Classrooms. Uh, you could also post to uh, the chat on. 我补充一下，他这个五题哈、哦，我们已经放在 Google Classroom， 因为我们一般我都会在礼拜五把课程下一周的课程放进来啊，这个上一周就有放了，所以各位可以到 Google Classroom 的那个思考问题，那这五个各位都可以回答。那我们当然 ，Hopefully you can use English、嗯。那如果你要用中文，其实也无妨。但我们希望你可以，如果你会写英文，你就直接写英文；如果你不会写英文，你就用 Google Translation。那我们就是让各位尽量在这一次的学习能够多接触英语，然后是没有压力的学习，而且还有得到。我们会给各位一张证书。我再讲一次哈，我们报名其实到今天截止，高雄市教育局定的报名时间到六月十五日截止。这六月十五日截止，高雄市的老师可以认证。可以认证教研习时数，但是认证教是研习时数，你有两个要件。你第一个要件必须要到 YouTube 去看影音，然后第二个你必须要交作业。其实作业很简单，作业就是请老，就是老师所写那一篇文章，你把它念读一次就好了。你不要管正确与否，我们不会去抓你正确与否
。那、啊、如果你没有时间去念，你就把整篇文章 copy 放到到放到那个 DOC 档再回给我们，我们也不知道哈。那、啊、当然，这个课程主要是鼓励大家学习啦，让各位有听英文的机会，有学习英文的机会。那我刚才跟各位说了，六月十五是高雄市的报名截止日期，那往后就是开放了。你如果不是高雄市，但是不要再来跟我们说你要补登教师研习时数。<咳>因为高雄市已经把那个关掉了，六月十五号就关掉。如果你还没有填那张，今天最后一天，请快一点去谈。你回头看语音，刚才我有讲，那这几个问题我们已经放在放在那个思考问题了。各位，各位可以尝试着去回答啊、呃。然后我怕各位会听不懂哈，那个吴老师会把速度稍微放慢一点哈，因为他把各位各位认为就是 native speaker， 嗯，他刚才讲的是认认认为各位大家英文都很好，其实没有问题的。会进来的，其实大家英文程度都还不错。好 ，OK。Thank you, Professor Wang. All right, yeah, right. So that's one of the problems with teaching a big class like this, especially if I don't know you. It's hard to know how fast to speak. I think some of you have very, very good English, and some of you maybe are more beginners. So I guess I'll try to speak slowly and clearly, so everybody can hopefully catch it. So okay. So as Professor Wang said. We have the five questions. I did notice that there were about 15, maybe to 20 people that did answer each question. So hopefully we can get more of you answering the questions, especially I guess if you can get credit for joining this class from the government. So please try to answer the questions. And so now I'm going to take a look at them one by one.、Um, I took screenshots of these、uh, questions this morning, and. I wanted to kind of discuss them.、Um, I, I often give my own students in school、uh, questions to discuss on the internet、uh, after class, and I always like to try to respond to them. So today I'm going to do、uh, verbal using speaking to respond. I'm not going to type answers to you. So the question was, how often do you study English? And recently I study English with my children every day. That's good. So again, using English、uh, every day is, is a good thing. Oh, whoops. Are, are you controlling that or am I? <laughs> All right.、Uh, the second one is,、uh, okay, there is no time,、uh, lack of programmatic learning. All right. So yeah, so that's, that's a big question for people is how to make time.、Um, and Uh, I think if you can find the time every day to study, that would be a good thing.、Um, you don't have to do that, of course. It has to fit into your lifestyle.、Um, but usually, if we think about time management and think about how we spend our day, it's usually possible to find a little bit of time every day, even if it's five or ten minutes, to do something. So. But I know that is difficult because even for me, when I study Chinese, there are weeks and months when I do a little bit every day, but then I stop and then I don't do it, and then it's another a month or two months, and then I haven't done anything. So it's good to make a habit of it、um, every day. I think Wen Lao talks a lot about this、um, in his classes as well. Make it a habit of、uh, develop a habit, make a system. Have a,、um, a plan to do it a little bit every day, step by step, and then you will improve. You will see the improvement. So every day,、um, that's good.、Mm, sometimes one day or two days a week, that's okay.、Uh, again, not systematic, serious, but curious.、Uh, when I'm curious about how to say something, I Google it. That's very good.、Uh, Google has lots of answers.、Uh, they're not always exactly right, but usually they are, and you have to. Obviously, use your、uh, discretion about what's a good answer, what's a bad answer. So this is good. So you you were reading about、uh, whales,、um, okay? Probably it should be hump, H-U-M-P, humpback whales. But that's okay. So you were curious about that, so you checked and you found this the answer. So this is a good answer, and this is why I like to talk to my students about their answers because. I think this is an interesting point here.、Um, I will show you. This is not the main part of the lesson, but I will show you an interesting Google extension.、Um, maybe one last year can introduce what an extension is later in Chinese, if some people don't understand that word. But I will show you an extension that you can use. It's designed for people who study Chinese, but in fact, if you're reading something in Chinese like this, and you are curious, oh, how do you say this in English? You could Google it. 
but you can also use this uh, extension. So let me show it to you. And it is, where is it? Oh, oops, sorry. It's on my PowerPoint. It's, I think, at the near the end. Here we go. It's called uh, Zhongwen Chinese Pop-Up Dictionary for Chrome. And so you can add it to your browser, Chrome, and then you can click on a word and it can show you the English for the word and even the Chinese pronunciation. So again, like I say, this is primarily designed for foreigners, but you could actually use this to, to study English. Uh, so for example, let's go to uh, Yahoo Taiwan. All right. So, and then I'll move this over here. And this is, uh, this is the extension right here. So if I click on it, it will turn on. And then I can just hover over a word and it will tell me what it means. So here it means life or activity or livelihood, right? Um, this should be sports, right? Sports, right? So again, if you have foreign friends who are learning Chinese, you can introduce this, uh, this extension to them to help them. But if you're reading something in, in Chinese and you wonder, oh, this is some kind of whale, you know the word whale, but you don't know what the word is in English, you can use this and uh, uh, it will help you find the English. Of course, you can also use Google as well. It's no problem. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. All right. Uh, Okay, so no fixed time. So again, the, que the question is how often you study English. So again, you, you don't have to study English every day, but uh, try to find some time. I think that's partly why you're in this class. So you are doing some English today. Uh, two or three times a month, all right. Uh, I used to study two times a month, and now I try to learn it 30 minutes a day. Wow, that's good. That's a lot of time, that's good. You listen to the news. Uh, you get to, whenever you have a chance, you do it every day, almost every day, five days a week. Okay, because you teach. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> uh, when I have a chance, I'll learn English. All right. So again, uh, try to do it as much as you can. If it's one day, two days, it's better. If it's more, of course, and then of course, more time is even better. So that was the first question. Again, if you haven't answered yet, uh, please uh, answer. Again, if you can, uh, I see some people are actually talking about it on the uh, on the chat room here. But again, don't forget, as Professor Wen said, to, to actually put it on the uh, Google Classroom. All right, let's move on to the, um, oh, okay, somebody's happy they're getting feedback from me. That's nice, thank you. <laughs> um, all right, let's continue. Question two, uh, how do you study English vocabulary? All right, so again, the focus of today is vocabulary. And we're going to talk about Quizlets a little bit later. And the first person says they use their uh, English on the mobile, on the browser. I guess they use the, the interface. The language that you see on the browser would be English. That's a good way to kind of force yourself to use English. That's good. Okay. Um, remembering and speaking words in simple English. Okay, that's good. Uh, but I guess I guess if you could say how you remember, how do you remember? Right? Do you take notes? Do you have a notebook? Uh, do you type them in your computer? Do you put them into a, a, an app like Quizlet or something like that? How do you do that? How do you remember them? Um, uh, nothing particular about this. <laughs> that's fine. That's an honest answer. That's good. All right. uh, I try to spell it by phonetics, and I look it up online. All right. With okay, that's nice. I like the fact that you offered a uh, a resource for people to check out. So I don't know this one. I, I did check it out uh, the other day and it looks interesting and I will probably try to spend more time looking at it. That's good. Um, in a minute, or not in a minute, but later on today, I will also talk a little bit about where you can uh, find out information about new vocabulary words or where you can check words later um, using some online dictionaries. Um, this of course is, is an option, yes, and, and people can take a look. Again, that's one of the wonderful things about the internet in particular is everybody has their own way of doing things, their own style, 
and maybe you like this website and maybe somebody else likes another website and that's okay whatever whatever works for you that's the key point as long as you can continue uh, i review the vocabulary with my son and daughter okay very good all right so when you're helping your kids with their homework um, you can practice uh english gives, <laughs> gives me a headache all right yes well <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, I have the same feeling sometimes when I study Chinese. But uh, again, the more you do, uh, the better you get, the less chance of you getting a headache. So again, if you can um, make it through to a certain level, then I think you, you won't have such, such headaches anymore. So uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. <laughs> All right, let's look at the next one. Uh, all right, so then I, I memorized by reading them aloud. OK, that's fine. Uh, reading articles or news online, that's good. Studio Classroom Advanced, yeah, that's very popular in Taiwan. Okay, let's talk in English in Studio Classroom. Those have been around for many, many years, and those are good ways to, to practice your reading and learn vocabulary. Uh, magazines, yes. Uh, I use some web to help students. Okay, so that's good. It's a good answer. But again, um, if you could give an example of that, that would be even better. So you can share with people what, what web sources you use, and then maybe they will find something that they like also. Um, so again, when you guys try to answer these questions, uh, try to give some specific, concrete examples that will uh, maybe help people. I mean, uh, Wen Lao Shou also talks a lot about sharing. And sharing, that's why he does a lot of teaching. Is, is, is one of his great motivations for teaching is, is he likes to share with people um, information and, 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 and knowledge, and that's, that's good. So when you answer these kind of questions, if you could uh, share, that would, be, that would be wonderful. All right, let's move on. Okay, question three. Uh, did you use Quizlet before joining this class? Uh, no, 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 yes. Uh, I guess kids, I'm not sure if you're talking about your kids or your students or your own kids, um, but okay. Uh, Quizlet Live, okay, good. So you must be a teacher, that's good. No, no. <laughs> All right, so that's good. So far, it looks like uh, people, uh, I say no, I learned about it, but I didn't use it. No, no, but I know about it. I'm trying it now, good. Never should I pay? Mm, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, you you can if you want to have more functions and more uh, 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 more thing more more things you can do with it. Yeah, you can pay for it, but you don't have to. The basic version is free. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, no, I know about it, but I never use it. No. Okay, so good. So I mean, some people have used it, and, but a lot of people it looks like haven't used it. So again, we will kind of go through that. Hopefully. Everybody was able to watch at least one of the videos we posted, or, or both. One of them was in English, one of them was in Chinese. I had a little bit of trouble finding a, a video that had both, uh, either speaking Chinese with English subtitles or speaking English with Chinese subtitles, so I posted two. And um, they're somewhat similar, uh, but if you, if, if you watch them, that's good. Uh, if you didn't watch them, uh, that, maybe you can watch them later. But anyway, today we will walk through it and, and talk about different ways you can set it up and use it. And hopefully, if you're a teacher, you can use it in class. If you're a parent or just somebody who wants to self-study, you can use it by yourself. That would be good. All right, question number four. Uh, do you read something in English every day? Uh, yes, I have to. Uh, <laughs> all right, you have to. Uh, that's good. Uh, you're watching a movie, mm, okay, so that's not, I guess if you're, if you're reading the subtitles, that would be reading. If you're just listening, that wouldn't exactly be reading, but that's okay. Um, you're, you're, you are practicing English every day. Uh, you watch car news. Uh, that's a very good way to do it. Um, again, uh, this was supposedly focusing on reading, but that's okay. Uh, the point is you're, you're doing something in English. That's good. And the other key point here is that you're doing something that's interesting for you. So that's one of the key points in, in any, anything you learn um, is, is being interested. If you have the motivation, then it will make it much easier. So if you really like information about cars, then yeah, watch news about cars or read uh, magazines or newspaper articles about cars. That would be great. Um, you watch movies on TV, all right. 
So again, you can, there's different ways you can do that. You can watch the movie and listen to the English. You can watch the movie and read the subtitles, uh, or you can kind of do a mixture of both. And I think that's a good way to do it. Movies or even TV shows. Uh, TV shows are quite good too because they're, they're shorter chunks of information. And it might be easier to kind of absorb it, digest it in, in shorter bits of, and pieces. If you watch a longer movie, uh, it, it might be harder, but that's a good way to do it. Uh, reading a magazine or a storybook before going to sleep, that's good. Sure. Uh, okay, watching the French Open. Uh, you're a fan of Roger Federer. Oh yes, uh, so am I. I watched his matches too on the French Open. I was very excited and uh, he did very well, but he did eventually lose to Nadal, but everybody does, right? <laughs> So that's good, uh, watching the French Open, listening to the English. I think, uh, I don't know if you watched it on MOD, uh, Zhonghua uh, MOD, they have a bilingual feed, so you can listen to the English or the, or the Chinese. So listening to English is quite good. That's what I did. Um, whoops. You, uh, oops, what happened? Okay, I think, oh, I did it again. I sing songs, I watch movies on YouTube, all right, good. Uh, you write something in English, all right, that's good. That's a very good way to do practicing. Uh, watching VoiceTube, all right, good, VoiceTube, BBC News. So these are good, I like to see these. Uh, sharing examples of what you find interesting is good, and other people might find that and think, oh yeah, I can try that too. Uh, English songs for kids, all right, that's good, yes. BBC News again. Uh, okay, you, you do some reading. Uh, again, websites. Okay, again, which websites do you like to read? And English textbooks by the teacher. All right, so if you're right, if you're a student, then of course uh, you're going to be using the books the teachers give you. That's good too. All right. And the last question uh, Can you fit 15 minutes of English into your daily schedule? Yes. All right, good. I hope so. Uh, it is hard. All right, so I guess you're quite busy. You feel a lot of pressure maybe from working or studying, whatever you're doing. Uh, but again, if you think carefully about your day, I'm sure you can squeeze in just 10 or 15 minutes every day, either in the morning when you take a break, maybe when you're eating your lunch, you can uh, use your cell phone or a PC or a tablet to study something or read something. Uh, again, it, it doesn't have to be so serious. It doesn't have to be kind of like studying for a test English, but it could be something enjoyable, like somebody mentioned uh, reading about car news or watching about car news. So you can do whatever you want to do. Um, speaking English, English with your kids is good. Um, I, think, I think people should do that. Um, I, I support that. Um, even if you don't feel like your English is perfect, or even if your pronunciation is not perfect, or your grammar is not perfect, I think practicing with the kids is, is, is good. Why not? Um, it helps you, and it can help them, too. Um, yes, it's not hard to do. Good. That's a good attitude. Uh, driving to work, listening to the news, good. Yes, that's a good way to do it. Uh, all right. So yes, talking to yourself in English is good too. Um, I think, uh, I mean, obviously if you can talk to somebody else, that's even better. But um, if you don't have people in your life circle that you can use English with, uh, then talking to yourself is okay. Um, uh, you can even record yourself if you want. Uh, most start smartphones, you can record your voice on and you can and see how you sound. And, and you can also listen to see if you, if you can spot any mistakes you made. Um, that's also another possibility you can do. But this is a good answer. Uh, 15 minutes is not long. Uh, all right, so yeah, good. That's, again, good answer. Uh, I think most people, if they really think about it, they can find time to do it. Can I ask you, Professor Wen? Yeah. How much time <laughs> do, you, do you fit 15 minutes of English into your day every day? Oh, I use, use that a lot, <laughs> almost every day. Since I got, got back from the United States, I got my PhD degree uh, from the United States. It was 30 years ago. And right. since then, I'm using English a lot. 
Yes. All my email correspondence mm -hmm. are in English. All right, very good. Yes, I know Professor Wen is very good. He actually is, uh, he's very good at pushing his students too. So I know when he teaches, he also uses English a lot when he teaches his classes. So again, I think, um, I think that's not a bad way to go. Um, again, um, again, we're both in university, so um, there, I, have a, I have students who actually don't speak Chinese very well. So uh, a lot of the teachers are kind of having to speak more and more English in class because the students don't understand the Chinese necessarily because uh, Taiwan is uh, promoting uh, more and more international students to come here. And so English is, is becoming very important. And I guess the new mayor is also promoting the bilingual education initiative. So perhaps in the future, uh, there will be more classes in English, maybe history class, geography class, uh, math class. So again, if you can use more English that way, that would be good. So again, I think if everybody can try to find a little bit of time every day, uh, that would be great. Okay. All right. So again, uh, just a reminder, please type some answers into YouTube, but uh, and specifically type your answers into the Google Classroom assignment section. Uh, that would be the best place to put it. So again, I, I took a screenshot of everything I saw this morning. So hopefully later on tonight or tomorrow, if I look back again, I'll see even more answers from people. So please, please answer. It's never too late. All right. All right. So now Quizlet is Quizlet is a kind of software app you can, what's going on? Is an app you can use uh, to um, practice your vocabulary. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello again, in case you just came in. Uh, hello, my name is David. Uh, nice to be here with everybody today. Uh, again, if you have comments or, or uh, questions, you can type them onto the uh, uh, YouTube chat. Let me know if I'm speaking too fast or too slow. So Quizlet will help you with uh, vocabulary practice in particular. So um, the traditional way of doing vocabulary practice is, is making flashcards. And so you take a little piece of paper and you write a vocabulary word on one side, maybe in English on one side, and maybe on Chinese on the other side. And that's the traditional way to do it with pen and paper. And that's okay. And this, this, but because of course this is the internet, this has a lot of extra functions that you can't do just with a pen and paper. So we're gonna talk about that. And I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can make a card. So, but before we do that, let me just quickly review some of the different things you can do. So if you're thinking about how to make a vocabulary card in Quizlet, there are different ways to set them up, all right? So you could have English on one side of the card and then you could put the Chinese on the other side of the card. That would be a kind of a traditional way of doing things. Another way would be to have the English vocabulary on one side and the English definition on the other side. So you're just using English. Uh, you could also use the English vocabulary and then you could use a synonym. I'll tell you what that means in a minute if you don't know. Or you could use English vocabulary uh, and an antonym. So these are, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. So um, again, this is a kind of a difference in, in, in Chinese and English. In English, we have a dictionary. Uh, we also have something called a thesaurus. And that's a kind of a dictionary, but it's a dictionary of synonyms and antonyms. So if you check a word, then you will find similar words or opposite words. Now, as far as I understand, Chinese doesn't have that kind of dictionary, uh, but I think it's quite useful to do that. Um, and so I guess while we're doing this, I will quickly go back to here. All right, so um, somebody already mentioned one of the resources they use to check words on, and I'm just gonna introduce one more. Um, there are many, uh, this is one I use. I use a couple different ones. It's called dictionary.com, and you can use it on your PC, tablet, or phone. It's free. Uh, I believe there is a kind of paid version that gives you, again, as with everything, more functions. But 
Uh, it has a dictionary function where you can type in the word and get the definition and maybe some examples. It also has a thesaurus. This is the word I was talking about, a thesaurus function. So if you type in a word here, it will give you the synonyms and the antonyms, the similar and the opposite words. Right? Um, also, it has a function that kind of what Professor Wen set up on our um, Google Classroom, uh, I guess a, a phrase of the day, a daily phrase, right? Yes. So this one also has that. It has the, the words of the week, the word of the day, excuse me, the word of the day. So every, every day they highlight a new word and you can check the word and you can even subscribe if you want. Um, whoops, I, I didn't, at the bottom here, there's a place where you can type in your email and it will send you an email every day about that. So I can quickly show you that uh, as long as we're on this. So here's the dictionary function, of course. Excellent. Oops, I spelled that wrong. I just went too fast. All right. So it tells you excellent. It tells you it's an adjective. It tells you what it means. Again, this one doesn't give you a, um, a sample sentence, but uh, here you might get something. Okay, so here we go. Examples from the web about excellent. That's fine. You can do that. Um, it can show you, uh, you can listen to it. Excellent. So it gives you the pronunciation. Um, I know a lot of people in the past like to use the Yahoo dictionary. Um, I think it's okay now, but my experience previously is that and some of the pronunciation is a little bit strange there. So I, I recommend something like this or some other kind of dictionary. But again, all right. And, and you'll probably notice the pronunciation here. They, Americans don't learn KK, uh, and we don't even really learn IPA. So this would be like, this would be in a way an American would kind of figure out how to pronounce the word. And for us, that works. Uh, if you want to look at the IPA, you can just check here. Now, the IPA, of course, is slightly different from KK, which is what people in Taiwan use. Um, I think mostly only Taiwan uses that now, but that's okay. But this is, I think, close enough to KK that you can figure it out. But in any case, I think listening to it is probably the best way, just modeling what you hear. All right, so that, that's the dictionary. And then uh, you want to look at the thesaurus and just click on that. Again, I'll type it in. Excellent. And then it's going to give me uh, the synonyms, the similar words, okay? So accomplished, admirable, attractive, distinguished, exceptional, you know, magnificent, outstanding, superb. Um, and I guess these words are a little bit further and further away from the meaning. Um, and then these would be the antonyms, uh, again, the opposites. So excellent, bad, crude, inferior, poor, okay? So again, of course, you have to be a little bit careful when you're checking words because each word is used in a particular way, uh, which is why in the article I wrote, I talk about using words in sentences, uh, remembering words in sentences. Okay, somebody's going to take my picture now. <laughs> Hello. All right, thank you. Um, so again, you have to be a little bit careful about that. Uh, but uh, particularly if you're doing some writing, um, um, in America, most teachers, English teachers in, in junior and senior high school, uh, tell the students to use a thesaurus when they're writing because if you just use the same words over and over again, it gets really boring uh, for the reader. So again, uh, that's why we have a thesaurus to kind of help you figure out different kinds of words um, you can use to help with your writing. All right, so that was, uh, that's what we call going off on a tangent, going, going sideways, going different, a different direction. So we were talking about, uh, we were talking about ways to do this, but I thought it was useful for me to introduce you if you don't know what a synonym and an antonym is and, and how to use them and how to find them um, using a dictionary. So again, maybe somebody has a different dictionary they like to use. Um, I use dictionary on my phone, 
Uh, in the past, I've used other dictionaries like um, Merriam-Webster. Um, that's okay too. If you want to use Oxford or Cambridge, that's okay too. It's it's up to you. I think all of these kind of dictionaries have the this thesaurus function with synonyms and antonyms. All right. So again, um, these are different ways you can study the vocabulary. Uh, you can also use an English word in a sentence and then use a Chinese sentence. So you know you can you can say um, um, my favorite fruit uh, is, uh, is 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 bananas. And you can write it in Chinese. My favorite fruit is bananas or something like that. Um, that would be a way to do it too. Uh, you can also use English and then a picture. There are other ways you can do it too. So there, there are lots of different ways. And, and I will be doing some of these with you in a minute when we, when we get to the Quizlet uh, app. Um, but again, I just wanted to let you know that in, um, there are many ways to study these uh, vocabulary. Um, and again, this, this is one way by, by using a variety of, of ways, it might keep you interested and motivated because if you do the same thing over and over again, just doing English, Chinese, English, Chinese, English, maybe that won't get be so interesting for you after a while. So again, if you can do a variety of ways, that might help you. Also, of course, certain words, um, it helps you remember better if you're using a picture. Okay. All right, so I think that's mostly from the PowerPoint that I wanted to talk about. So let's close that. Uh, how are we doing on comments? Everybody okay? Me? No, their, their comments. Everybody okay? Their comments. I have too many questions. I will, I will answer them later. <laughs> okay. answer them okay. later. Is there anything you'd like to say so far, Professor? Martin, no, or? we just keep going. Okay, keep going. All right, yes. no, keep going. All right, so finally, yes, finally we get to Quizlet. All right. So I'm going to show you a few different uh, examples of how cards or cards have been set up, um, and then we'll do a little bit together. And then I may actually ask some of you to to do um, some cards, and maybe if you can share them with us, that would be good too. Okay. So let me take a quick drink of water. Sorry. So. The, I guess I can show you the first one, uh, learning vocabulary with Quizlet. So okay, so Quizlet. I, I, hopefully, everybody was able to look at the website and, and register. Okay, it is free. Um, a, as with many websites, they're always trying to push you to upgrade to the paid version, um, and, which is fine. I mean, if you're a teacher, you might want to do that. Um, if if you feel like this is something you might want to use often enough with your students, you might want to want to pay for that. Um, but for me, I think the, the, the free version is, is enough. Um, but they will constantly push you to upgrade. So sometimes you have to close windows to say no, 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 things like that. So, but that's normal for the internet. All right, so anyway, I have um, some different collections here. Uh, some of them I made, some of them I, I copied from people. Um, so this is like a social network, really. Uh, you can use this to create your own cards but you can also use it to find other people's cards too. So you'll notice these, it says David4993, that's me. And so I made, the, I made this one. I made this one, but I got the initial information from another person and I modified it. Um, this is also from another person, I didn't modify it. This is from another person, I didn't modify it. So again, um, uh, there are different ways you can use this. Um, obviously, if you're a teacher, um, you might want to focus on your books. Um, so I guess we can do that first. Uh, so mm, a lot of popular books are, are actually already in here. So if you're a teacher and you're teaching uh, English, you, you, uh, you might be able to find something here. So for example, I did a quick search here. I went to search and I typed in uh, Let's Go. Let's Go is a popular series of, of books for studying English. Uh, they don't use them in elementary school here, of course, because they're from abroad. They're overseas books, and they're kind of expensive. But uh, privates and some bushiban or cram schools might use them. But in any case, so for example, this teacher, uh, I don't know who this is, but I found them, and they wrote these cards. So um, this is how they arrange them. Um, you, can, you can actually, just by looking at this, you can see the card and you can see the, the art room, what it means by looking at the picture, by clicking on it. 
and you can go to the next picture and music room and then you just click on it and you can see there's a music room. But you can also see the whole series if you kind of scroll down. Um, so in this unit, I guess, book three, unit three, again, I, I don't know this book, but um, <laughs> okay, so this person obviously is coming from Korea. Um, but here's the art room, here's the music room, lunch room, classroom. So this is one way you could do it, like I said earlier. You can do vocabulary to picture. Um, or you can do, uh, you know, question plus picture and then vocabulary. So where is the post office across from the school? So again, um, you can look at all their different things here. And if you want, if you, want you can... Um, um, you can make this your own. Um, you can you can add to it. So if you go to full screen, so again it shows you the picture, and you think, okay, what is that? Click the card to see the term. Oops. Music room. All right. What is that? <laughs> Should be, I guess you could call that a lunchroom or the cafeteria. I'm not sure what they're using. Okay, they're calling it the lunchroom. Okay. <laughs> so, again, this is a set I found by just typing in uh, Let's Go, which is the name of the, um, the book. Let's go. There's another one that I found uh, for a higher level. Um, this is a book that some, I think, colleges use for uh, general, uh, general education English. So this is Reading Explorer 2, Unit 2B. So again, this teacher Katie, whoever she is, she made this, and I, I found it. And again, you can kind of go through it and, and, and look at it. You can click on here. If you notice, you can see the definition and you can see the term, garbage, all right? The action of choosing someone or something as being the best. What's the word? Selection, maybe? There you go, selection, all right. You can also listen to it. Selection. Selection. All right. So the pronunciation, the the the, um, the voice pronunciation is getting better and better. You know, four or five years ago it was pretty poor. It sounded much like a computer, but this is sounding pretty good now. Selection. Yeah, that's not bad. A special ability. What do you think the word is? Talent, maybe. All right, <laughs> talent. Yeah, there you go. All right. So I think you can you can find other people's uh, words this way. This is a harder way to do it, looking at the definition and and find and then saying the word. I think you can also change that if you want. If you go to options, you can you can start. Yes, you can answer with the definition. You can change that that way, and then all right. So here's the word track. So what's the definition? To follow or trail movements of someone. Could we try this one with the audience and no, then have no. them to answer the questions? Oh, sure. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. We should have prepared yeah, any yeah, practice yeah, yeah. for them to yeah. join in, yes. in the quiz. Yes, yes, so yes, later yes. you do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 okay, yes. now go to the next question. He's just talking about this quizlet. It's inside the model. He's just talking about this quizlet. He's just talking about this quizlet. He's just talking 但我不知道他设计的模式是大家要log in to Quizlet 还是要直接从我们的画面上回应他他有电话中告诉我我们可不可以直接从画面上回应我说当然可以但是各位一定要知道我画面的回应是要等二十秒所以这个会拉长我们的时间没有关系不过我们这一题我们大家可以先尝试
。好，那我们就开始了。You want to use this one? This one's a little. No, 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 no. They just see the picture and guess、yeah. what is the answer, right? Okay. Hey, so you, maybe what、well, you want to use these are these are more complicated words to say. So maybe I can use the other the other. Okay, he. 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 He
这个有点整人呢、欸，四个字拆开我都懂， yeah. 并并在一起我不懂。<笑> What are they saying? Anybody got it yet? No, I haven't seen that. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Give me, give me, 查字典，给你弄字典。All right, time's up. Here we go. Time's up. 他说是什么苹果？这字太小，他酸苹果。三种字，秋海棠。Is that one？ 海棠花。哦、yeah, oh, ，有人答对了，是海棠。海棠花有人答对哦，那个燕美，燕美，陈燕美。哦、oh, ，陈燕美答对了。Very good。不过，不过他们这个老师人，他们能力都很强。Actually,、mm. they they have very you know very high、mm. of the vocabulary level.、Mm. I think at least ten thousand, more than ten thousand. Okay. Oh, so so most of the people are teachers. I thought some of them were so most of them. I think they can answer so quickly. Should be should mm. pro mm. pro. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Good for them. <laughs> oh, here, you see the one. That should be easier too, right? Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. This kind of flower, this kind of flower. Ah, some people get out of it. 我以前单字背的很多啦，大概很强哦。以前三十年前就考头五跟 GRE 啊，可是现在字都一底离我远去了。你看渐渐会忘掉，但是有时候看字是很熟啊。Chrysanthemum， 有什么 ？Yeah， it's already up。Daisy 就是 Daisy 会有 Daisy 会也是菊花的一种哦。Daisy 应该是菊花哦。对对对，初级哦，有人答出来了。你们能力都很厉害的。这 Daisy 就是那个、yeah. 我们以前那个打字机那个轮盘呐、啊，我们叫 Daisy 会有，嗯，就是橘轮嘛，叫 Daisy 会有，就这就是这个字哦。Let's do a couple more. Do a couple more. 他要几个要给各位玩。Oh, I don't even know what that is. 现在出现一个喽，哇，这个比较难，这比较难。然后看谁单字程度最好。<笑>你们都很快呀、啊。Well, 有些人有字典旁忘在旁边，被蛋你啊 ！Somebody is fast at using the dictionary.、Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Epiphytum. 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 昙花。Yeah. 哎，真的是昙花嘞！ Yeah, 你们实在是天才。<laughs> 你们实在天才，这个我实在是没办法了哈。Gardenia，Gardenia，Gardenia， 好，下个字出现了哈。Gardenia，Gardenia，Gardenia， 呀。哦，今日看啥物人第一名？谁 ？Anybody？ 一子什么一子花哦？<笑><笑>这个我不连中文都不会念。栗、uh, 子，栗子花，栗子，花，栗。对，各位单字能力都很强啊。Uh, this one's this, 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 this one you see in Taiwan all the time because of tea, right? Jasmine tea. Jasmine tea. Yeah. OK 啊，这个大家都会。Yeah, yeah. 现在这个很简单，等一下哦、嗯，下一个字了。这个各位马上就出来了。嗯 ，That should be easy. If you ask him me for the flowers name,、yeah. I'm not so familiar with no, that.、No. If you give me the、yeah. computer technology, <laughs> you know, I could be the first one、yes, to answer know, your question. Flowers are not. My... <laughs> no, no. Even the English flowers are not my specialty either,、oh, so、yeah. I, I'm not so good at this. Molly. Yeah. Just a man, Molly. This I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Lilac. Lilac. This everyone can do. Lilac. Lilac. Hey, not yet. Twenty seconds. Why is it twenty seconds? Just because of the internet? Internet. They don't know. They got to you know the broadcasting. They got to go into the server and the server pass that down to、oh. their the transmission time. Okay. Okay. So. So、it doesn't the, matter who does it anywhere; it's always going to be a delay like that. But for those who have higher speed in the internet, like 
could be could faster. be got it faster so to get an image. So less lag. Yeah. Uh, you know. No, I tried that before. Some uh -huh. people they can get an image and advice for in in probably ten seconds or within second. ten oh. seconds. But some people got to wait for twenty seconds. Uh -huh. That's based on the sure. the bandwidth right, of right, the right, internet right. Uh -huh. from us to the to the server and mm -hmm. from the server to to them. Okay. okay. So we got to pass by the YouTube server. Right. So right. the YouTube server they had duplicated so many sets mm -hmm. for video for video server there. Oh okay. Lilac. Okay, you have some more? Yeah, I just did uh, the Why don't you come up with some computer technology? Oh, okay, let's, let's go on to, let's go on to our different, a different set then. Uh, all right, let's see. 好了，谢谢各位那个这么支持哈，玩一玩。其实把这个课当再玩也不错了哈。我们就是希望各位，哎，其实我英文也不是很好，我又不是 native， 对不对？然后我就是很鼓励大家学啊。所以，我们这门课希望各位不要太重视文化，千万不要，好，千万不要，因为我们不是要考试的，我们只是要用。那说错了也没关系，然后拼字拼错也没关系，我们就尽量用哈。那我希望了哈，我们这门课现在就是高雄市教育局希望有高雄市五百位老师参加，我们大概第一阶段已经满足了。那我们现在开始第二段，就是如果你有朋友非高雄市老师，非老师高雄市的市民啊 ，or your friends in another county or another city, they like to study the English, just join us as a learning community. 哦，就是跟我们大家就是一起来，我也希望，就说我们是在播种了、啊、哈，是在播种啊。大家如果愿意学英文，这总总是好事情嘛。好，希望各位推荐我们这个报名是开放给所有的老师。那这些老师，我们到时候我会设计一张精致的结业证书。那精致的结业证书会有所有老师的签名。好，所有老师的签名都会在我们现在正在设计，但希望各位一定要去完成我们两项作业，一项就是 E D puzzle。Add puzzle, add puzzle。刚才有人又问了，说 add add puzzle 怎么进？我待会再说明。不过我们待会要在三点二十分左右一定要进行抽奖。好，待会那个吴老师会跟各位讲，我们今天抽奖的的题目是什么，答案是什么。我已经有贴在，其实我都必须要准备事前工作跟事后的工作了哈。但我乐意啊哈，我觉得这个也蛮好玩的，只要大家高兴，那也鼓励学校的老师。我们希望，因为这是高雄市教育局出钱嘛哈。希望各位鼓励你们学校老师进来玩玩英文啊！不要讲学英文了，我应该把名称改成“大家一起来玩英文”。OK， next。All right, sure. All right, Professor Wen is very modest. His English is actually very good. So,、uh, but thank you.、Uh, yeah. So、uh, there's other ways you can use this too. So、um, I, I prepared another way to practice something. It's again, if you if you're doing、uh, again in the future, if 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 there's content、uh, bilingual education. You can use this to practice your、um, your content, not just English language itself. So, for example, I made this one about learning about the U.S. So, here's the first question.、Uh, it'll show up in just a few seconds. Maybe you can type the answer in、uh, on the the chat room and see. The question is says that how, how many, many states, states are there in the United States? I have the answer. You have the I think everybody、knows. know that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I ask my students, and sometimes they have the wrong answer. Fifty-one. <laughs> and one more. Which one is fifty? Number fifty-one. <laughs> is that Taiwan? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, Hawaii or somewhere? Puerto Rico. Okay. Is、What's、that Hawaii or somewhere? <laughs> Not actually fifty. <laughs> the answer is fifty. Yeah. So right, it, it may change to fifty-one in the future.、Um, Puerto Rico is not a state, but they might become a state in the future.、Um, sometimes people joke about Texas wanting to leave the United States, so we might go to forty-nine. So I don't know.、Um, some people joke about splitting California into two states, but there are fifty states. So again, you're using English here, but you're practicing a content,、uh, content information. So let's do another one. What's the capital of the U.S.? What is the capital of the U.S.? I think everybody knew that. All right. Let's see. And then I will show. Can I just show the answer now? I mean, there's a delay, so yeah. Okay, because he said too much delay time, so he had to go through it faster. Yeah. Washington D.C. 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 Wash
Yeah. Okay. This is what does that stand for, DC? District. District of Columbia. Columbia. District of Columbia. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they just say DC, right. and then everybody knows DC means Washington. Right, that's right. It's easier. And it's, it's, it's interesting. Yes, it's very nice there. Um, it's interesting because Washington, DC is not a state. Okay, is it? It's not a it's state. It's an area. It's an area. It's like a special okay. district, like you said. It does. So, so Smithsonian is is there? The Smithsonian is there. Smithsonian. Yeah. Smithsonian. Yeah. yeah, Smithsonian's there. Uh, NASA. They, yeah, they have all the spaceships and the airplanes. But it's not is, a lot of museum. And the key there. point is, they're all free. Really? <laughs> yes, they're all free. Some need to pay. There's a few private museums that are you have to pay for, but all the public museums like the uh, Smithsonian are free. So that's uh, one of the nice things about which the, one is the best? No, no, no. The particular museums, aviation. Yeah, the aviation one is really nice. Yeah, there's two parts of it. There's one that's in the suburbs. Also, it's it's actually in Virginia. And the National Library. The National Library is very good. The National Gallery is very good for artworks and paintings, things like that. It's yeah. There's let's all remember the, the Lincoln Hall. Is it nearby uh, there? Yeah, the Lincoln Memorial is there. Mm, okay. The Washington Monument is there. Yeah. If you can go to DC, go to DC. It's really nice. Um, I know a lot of Taiwanese like to go to San Francisco, LA, New York, but DC is quite nice. And my hometown, I have to support that too. So please go to Chicago. Oh. Chicago is very nice. Have you been there? Okay. Chicago, yes. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Chicago is very excellent too. So, okay, so Washington, DC. Um, most of these questions are not difficult, but there's a couple that might be harder. When is Thanksgiving? When is Thanksgiving? Oh. <laughs> That's a little tricky. Trick or treat. Tricky. A uh, trick or treat, yes. Trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat. Trick or treat. Yes. Do you know what kind of tricks people play? Do you know that? Some kids are bad, and if their house is empty and they don't give candy, then some kids will play a trick. They might take some toilet paper and throw it onto the house. <laughs> I of course never did that, but uh, some kids do. That. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you gotta have candy. So my son has never been able to do that, so he's always very disappointed. Thanks oh yeah, I answer there. It says the eleven thirty. Then well, the thirty should be Thursday or something. No. Okay, so the answer it's is the last week of the it's the fourth fourth Thursday, Thursday in November. November. The fourth Thursday in November. Yeah, someone got the correct answer. So it changes every year. Jennifer Chen oh, got the answer. Good, good job, Jennifer. Yeah, the fourth Thursday in November. That's right. That's Thanksgiving. That's one of our big holidays. And just so you know, um, that's pretty much an American holiday, United States holiday. Although in Canada, they also have Thanksgiving. Uh, theirs is in October, but I don't know when. Sorry, Canada. You want to tell us the story or the, you know, back behind <laughs> the story about what, as far as I know, mm. since like the very ancient time, just mm. like the May, Mayflower, the, yes. the landing yeah. to the... Santa Maria. Yes. Uh, yeah, so so the, 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 they call them the pilgrims. These, the pilgrims. Yeah, the, okay. the, fir the first... Europe. The Aborigines, they helped them to survive yeah. in, in, the, right. in Berlin right. around I think uh, in the 1600s. 1600s, early means 1600s. The 400 years ago. Yes, 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 that's right. 大约在正成功, so, 正成功到台湾, <laughs> 那时, 正成功到三百五了, Thanksgiving. Right, oh, that's right. That's, right. <laughs> that's that's pretty much right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Uh let's go to the next one. When is Independence Day? Oh, Independence Day. Independence, Independence Day. Day. Taiwan is ten ten. Double right? ten. Double ten. Double ten. Yeah, that's right. That's the day of Washington they declare for the Independence. Independence from, from Great Britain. That's right. 
j u l y f o r t h 七月四号啊，这里弄灾啊，我知呀，这对你来讲，太简单啦。It's coming up soon. <laughs> it's coming up soon. Yes, it's only in a few days from now. That's right. I'm not sure about recently, but in the past, the American Institute in Taiwan, AIT, uh, 美国在台学会。Oh, they do have yeah, some. They used to have some kind of activity in yeah, ceremony uh, Lab, in Labor Park. Labor Park, 劳工劳工公园。But I'm not sure recently if they have anything. No, let me give you a question. Yeah. What is the year of that? 1776. <laughs> 1776. You're testing so, me. <laughs> <laughs> so how long ago from now? Two hundred and and forty. Two hundred and forty some about. years. Yeah, yeah. That's about right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I have to get that right. If I don't get that right, I can't go home next time. Okay. I still can remember. You do have bicentennial. Centennial or something. Yeah, the bicentennial. Bicentennial. Was in 1976. Yeah, 1976. Yeah, 1976. It's about 30, 30 years ago. Is that when you were in America? And then yeah, <laughs> yeah I can remember they have activity in nearby uh, the AIT. Yeah, that was a big and celebration. And I just watched uh, the activity, so I can remember that. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, they they've been doing it. Like I say, I'm not sure recently if they're doing it, but they used to do it all the time. Um, labor parks. You can check it out. Taichung usually has a pretty big one, and and also Taipei. So here's another. Where question. is Gaoshan AIT? They moved. They used to be on Zhongzhen Road and Minzu Road, but now they're in the China Steel Building behind. China Steel Building, Zhongzhen. Behind the IKEA. IKEA. Or is it IKEA? IKEA. IKEA. I, I, don't <laughs> IKEA. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's Iron or, or or the whole land. Yeah. The but Swiss then they say hmm. IKEA. IKEA. In Taiwan we say IKEA. IKEA. Yeah. Okay. When do most American tech Showers. When? <laughs> When do Taiwanese people usually take a shower? It's an evening time or the time before go to bed. Evening. That's some, two time. Yeah. Evening time, time after work yeah. or after work before, or before, before bed. Before bed. Okay. Yes. How about in the United States? I'm um, United States. Any time I think and they enjoy shower any time. In the morning. In the see? morning. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's right. In the morning. In the morning. So growing up. Wow. Um, get a fresh yeah, spirit. You feel refreshed, energy, energetic. energetic. That's right. That's right. And for me, I would also wash my hair then too, because if I wake up in the morning after sleeping, I have what we call bed head. After exercising, yeah, there, there are so many answers here of a very creative mm -hmm. yeah, answers right. here. Yes. Well, of course, after exercising, yes. But but if somebody doesn't exercise, then they normally would take a shower just in the morning. Um, Get a happy mood to yeah, go happy mood. Yeah, and and wash their hair too. Yeah,、uh, that's good. That's right. But of course, Taiwan is so hot, so I take two showers a day: once in the morning and once at night. Some people do that, <laughs> but only in just one before、okay. go to bed. So one more question here: It says, "Do American eat soup before or after the main course?" Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. It's a kind of it's a kind of behavior culture.、Yeah. Let me see if this will. I'm not sure if they do the whole sentence. Or not. Let me see. <laughs> oh, whoops! Sorry, I made a mistake.、Uh, sorry, my typing is not good. I did this this morning. It should be do Americans with an S. Sorry.、That's、But if you don't say, nobody knows that. Oh they, they well, no, no, I'm sure somebody. I'm, I'm sure somebody knows. We don't care too much about the <laughs> grammar or spelling, so forget okay, it. Right, well, forget it. Thank you. Thank you. Embarrassing though, but、okay. no, 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 not embarrassing. Okay, do it. I know. It's、okay. Just as I told you,、uh, when I was in the United States, I found the Americans they are not very good in this barrier. Let me tell you that this is true. This is true because they rely on the dictionary or rely on the on the tour too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they have answers. Says、okay. before. This before. Too many answers here. What do they say? Before, before mostly before.、Yes. Okay. Yep. And the answer is coming up. We got hundred percent correct. Yeah, that's right. And the answer should be coming up in just a second. There, there it is. Okay. Here is a harder question, I think.、Aha. Oh, this one. He、yeah. says harder, but not to us. I know you are very smart.、Mm. What percentage of the U.S. is African American? I know the answer. Let、really? me say that. Oh, it's、sure? decreased. It's decreased because you know Asian Asian American that increased recently year,、right. but the in the ancient time, you know, before the northern is the civil war, they have around 
It was higher before, yes. It's higher before, but now but it's, they decrease. Yeah. Most of my students get this wrong. Most of my students get this wrong. I don't say my answer. And we'll, and we'll talk about it. I didn't do that. We'll you can Google, it. please, my fellows. You are very smart. So you, can, you can Google the answer. 51%. No, no, not, no. not that high. 11.6. 11.6. Could be, but I higher, a little higher than that. Mm -hmm. As far as I know. Now, so anybody else? Anybody else? Don't be shy. Hey, hey, we are waiting for your answer. In the morning. Oh, they're talking about no, still 14 percent. <laughs> 14 percent. 30 percent. It's about that. It's about between, you know, that between 14 and 30, I think. Oh, it's tough. Oh. Let's see. It should be coming up in a second here. 2.5. Yeah. So could you tell us yes. uh, <clears throat> where comes the African-Americans? Where comes them? Where they come from? Yeah, they come from. The, the reason why they come oh, to Oh boy, the that's semester. complicated. All right. It's complicated. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yes, of course, uh, they mostly, mostly came from Africa. And uh, there was something called the slave trade, which America was part of, uh, uh, Britain, UK was part of that, and even Africa was part of that. Um, uh, slavery was actually something that was um, allowed in Africa as well at that time. So um, a lot of British people uh, would go to, many American people would go to Africa and buy slaves from other Africans um, or capture them themselves and then bring them to America or to the, the Caribbean, the, um, the islands south of America. And that's where many of uh, African slaves came from. Um, but, I, but what I wanna talk about though is this number, 12.5. Um, so, um, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think it's 30%, 40%, 50%. I think that's interesting. And the reason I think they think that is because they watch a lot of American movies and television. What was the movie? I saw that before when I was in the United States. There was around 10 or 8 episodes. Uh -huh. What's it? Do you know the, the film that's well known for this? Talking about the story of the slave, they oh, went to... Roots. 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 Uh, they can, Gun, root, R -O -O -T. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I recommend you to go back to see the movie. I really like to see, you know, something they do have a history and a culture mm -hmm. behind the, 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 the movie. I really like that. Yeah, I think that was from the 1970s. 1970s. Late 70s, I think, yeah. So I think, the, again, the reason a lot of students don't know this number is because they watch a lot of TV and and movies, and a lot of the TV and movies are, are taking place in New York City or Los Angeles or Chicago, and those cities have a higher percentage of African Americans or Black people, maybe thirty or forty percent. Uh, and people in the South, the Southern states, have a lot of African Americans. But South Carolina, yeah, Georgia, Alabama, and then in the in the Georgetown, right. they say yeah. many Africans, right? They 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 they, they live in the in the George town. Some, yes, 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 sure, sure. The percentage is quite high. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I've been there. Have you? Okay, I've never, I've never been there actually, <laughs> so I don't know. But but so but but other parts of America, the northern, the western states, the, the countryside in the north and the west and the Midwest are mostly white, um, Caucasian. So yeah. We got to stop here. Okay. We got to show them the questions and answer, and they can they can do in the answer right now. Okay. Uh, we do have we do have a question on our and you can tell them the answer. Let me show you that. We have a question here. No, no, no. I'm looking for the Yo Jiang Zheng Da. Where is that? Please post the 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 URL for us. If somebody knows that, 有讲真打在哪里? 各位把它贴一下好不好? 有讲真打王子, 对不起, 我们有一个, 哦, 有讲真打王子在这里, mm -hmm. 然后, 我先贴一下他在六位八号。我把有讲真打王子贴上来哦, Yes, that's a key point. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, so, 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 so,
但是这是我们刚才那个黄伯礼一眼还打电话来，他知道我们今天下午有课，他还打电话来。他他这次为温老师总共提供了，你知道多少吗？他跟我提供了六十部平板电脑啊！ Wow. 我们在推城市交易，其实是没有英文交易的啦，就是没有。我是跟他讲说，我希望大家都来学英语，因为我们平板电脑大部分是提供给学生。那我那一次有跟他讲，他说好，温老师你怎么决定？你就去做吧。好，网址在这里哦。好，那各位就可以去填一下有奖问答。Okay, right now you want to show us your question. Uh, I do have a question here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you click the hyperlink, then you will get the questions. This is the Google form. Okay. And then I have the is it, Chinese question here. Can yes. I, can I go here? Or yeah, you can go there. Where, where is it? Where is it? Um, that you got to go to the I FB. Oh, FB. To the FB first. Uh, question is here. Oh, they can see it. Yeah, they can already see that. Yeah, this is the way that we okay. okay. We have the screen mirror so to, I know. to do. Okay, so yeah, I, you can read that. Okay, so what are the five study modes when using Quizlet? Uh, write them in English. What are the five study modes when using Quizlet? 啊，各位可以现在去填了哈，各位尽量去填。其实也让我们冲一下人数。左边九十二，九左边二十二是绝对不对的啦哈，因为他上一次也是都停在这个数字。那我们希望大家就去填，你就有机会中奖。然后 ，you got to give them the correct answer. Okay. To, to tell them the answer. All right, sure. I should tell them right now. Yep. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, gosh, that's fine. Uh, all right. So no, you you have. I think you do you have that in your PowerPoint or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Can answer the. Well, I don't. But I can show it to them. I mean. You can show why. Because it's here. It's on. It's on the. Oh, he's now in the screen. I'll show it to you. He's now in the screen. I'll show it to you. He's now in the screen. Is it it? No, 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 no. Here. He, he, the topic, his topic is, is if we don't have Quizlet, ah, the five, uh, study the mode is is what? He has five. That, of course, is in the right. Now, it's already shown on the screen. Yeah, we have. Uh, so it says study, and it says flashcards, learn, write, spell, test. Okay. So those are the five study modes. There are three other modes for for playing, but those are the study modes. 上面它有写 study， 下面它写 play。play 它有 match， 它有 gravity。gravity is right. Yeah, gravity. And then yeah. then they do have live. live. And so, then above there, you want to so explain the meaning of that? Yeah, I will. I will. I, I actually we talked a lot today, but we haven't done the actual this thing yet. But uh, so. I wanted to everybody to do it in English because I, I was afraid some of you would be using the uh, the interface in Chinese, and I wanted you to use English, right? That's so, good. That's good. If, because if you go to the if you go to the bottom here, you can change the language to Chinese, and some people might be doing that. But if you do it in English, then that's how you can know the answers. All right. So uh, let's go back to another. No, they they got to watch the the five mode. Please oh, keep that oh, here for oh. five more minutes. <laughs> oh, 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 eh? oh, 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 okay, so I can't do anything. And no, 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 just need yeah, more, just, more time for oh, them okay. to digest, digest, oh, 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 or okay. to, to take down the ads. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 no problem, no problem. You know, I mean, here, you know, I give you more time to <laughs> pick out the answer. To give a chance for the yeah, draw, yeah, yeah, drawing, yeah, yeah. right? The drawing. Let me show you that we do have a very, very modern, at the high end of the tablet PC. Yeah. Wow. Let me show them. Look at that. Yeah. Let me see. It looks like a robot <laughs> on top. Now, I'll give you a look. I'll give you a look at this. Here. Go to the test. 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 那我们本来是，本来我买六十部的平板电脑，哎，这个真的很棒哦，这个是两 G 规格的哦，嗯，你去买要很贵，因为我们是一次买，而且真的很漂亮，速度蛮快的，嗯，你应该要很喜欢 ，Very nice， Yep， 所以我们八周各位都可以来听一听，而而且听一听，哎，我们目前还没有让各位讲话，其实我有想办法要让各位讲，如果你真的想跟我们的 speaker 做。
English 的这个这个 Q M A or interaction in English. I will try to using the line for for you to talk with our speaker. But this time we won't because because we got to、uh, have more time for for planning. Right, right. We could try next week. Could be maybe. So,、right. just go. Just continue.、Let's、the continue. answer is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The answers are here.、Uh, so you want to read that one more time? Okay. So, so the study modes are flashcards, learn, write, spell, and test. So those are the five words you should have written down on your Google Form answer. And good luck to you. Good luck to you. <laughs> can the person, who, if they won last week, can they win again this week? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Even though we don't say that, but I will,、uh, I will beg for, for I'll ask for the person if we get twice. You know, just donate one for the other. <laughs> I, I told my wife about this, and she said, "Can I join the class?" I'm like, "No, no, no, no." <laughs> if you win, somebody will complain. <laughs> So that's that's too bad. This is not cheap. Because this this you have to buy is not cheap. It's free.、Yeah. Very nice. It's good to have support. Okay, you want okay, to go? So, so can I change this? Yes,、yeah, sure. Okay, okay. continue. All right. So yeah. So hey, we really haven't done some of the stuff with Quizlet yet.、Um, I, I wanted to show you a little bit about how to actually make one yourself, and then also how to use these different functions. Again, I think some of you probably some of the more Uh, energetic and motivated of you have probably already done this,、uh, but if you haven't, then I'm going to I'm going to go through this quickly.、Um, I think we still got about half an hour, so we have time for this and then also、um, some other stuff.、Uh, so okay, so let's go back to it. About three thirty, we will stop. I will explain、oh, okay. some of the codes in the、okay. Q&A. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because... All right, so then I'll go quickly then.、Uh, okay, so、eh, let's do. All right. So another thing you could do is you could type in、uh, the word、uh, T O I C TOEIC, and then you can find lots of different practice that people prepared related to TOEIC. So this person Deborah, whatever she did, made some stuff.、Uh, a bunch of people have made some stuff. So let's look at this one.、Um, all right. So we can try the flashcard mode. So we've already kind of done that already, right? So you look at the word. You can listen to the word by our clerk. You can click on it. I think I'll even say the Chinese. Not that good. Not that good. Okay, so good. So that's the that's the uh, the um, flashcard mode. Then you also have the learning mode. All right. So then、uh, we have to read the Chinese and then pick the word, right? So I guess、uh, should be wrap, right? All right, good. So that would be how you do that, and then just press a key to continue, and then、uh, should be great. Is that right? <laughs> All right. So again, it gives you both、uh, the Chinese and the English. Then you have the writing mode. Uh, all right. So then, let's see. What would that be? Is that right? Okay. So I got it right.、Uh, okay. I said illegal, but they wanted they wanted the they wanted the word violation. Okay. Well.、Uh, okay. So I'm wrong.、Uh, I guess according to this.、Uh, and I'll just type in whatever, and then answer. And expire. All right. So this would be you're, so you're practicing your typing, which I think is a good thing.、Um, this one you can you can practice your typing with the writing function.、Uh, spelling is somewhat similar to the, to the but it's going to be what you hear. A word kind.、Huh? A word kind. A word kind. Oh. A words card. I think that's what they said. Correct. Traffic sign. Traffic sign. Oh, that's good. All right. So this is practicing your typing and your listening, right? So you're practicing your listening. That first one was not so clear, but the traffic sign, I think, was pretty clear. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. And as you notice, 
I have, uh, when last year I think talked about this previously, Grammarly. Grammarly. So actually it's checking, as I type in here, it's checking my spelling. <laughs> That's a mention before. Yeah, 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 you mentioned that, right? Um, all right, and then I think there's one more function here. And then the test function. So it gives you different types of uh, questions. You can do uh, written questions. So you type the answer, what's the Chinese word for scholarship? Uh, probably, yeah, I'm sure you have team, right? Something like that. And then this one, uh, you have to type in the answer. You have to type in the answer. Uh, sometimes they give you matching where you have to match. You know, you type in A, B, C, D here. You can match them. Uh, you can have multiple choice where here's the word and then you choose which one is the correct answer. Um, so they give you different different ways to test you. They have true false. So is this uh, this word here means this? Is that correct or not correct? Uh, I don't think so, right? This means like uh, to hinder or to block or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure that's what that means, but okay. 选项，有有人在问选项，我还不知道它的意思。Some <laughs> asking the question. Let me see. 选项。嗯。哦，选项一就把它拿掉，把它拿掉。选项一不要不要填，好不好？哦。选项一这个它后来加出来的，选项一不要填，对不起啊嘿。我不知道能不能现在拿，我现我现在不要拿好了。请帮
again, you could, you could do um, sentences. You can type in a word and then you can type in a sentence. Oftentimes it will give you suggestions for definitions. So for example, um, uh, choice. So the act of selecting among alternatives, this is, this is from other sets other people have made. Um, option, decision, course of action, both alternatives. So again, depending upon what you're studying, how you're studying it, you choose whatever you want to do. Or you could even choose one of them and you can edit it and, and change it if you want to change it. Um, again, as I mentioned in the, in the article, um, I find it good to use uh, basic words like red and stuff like that, I think just a picture or a Chinese word is, is enough. But more complicated words, words that are confusing, like I said in the article, like boring and bored, a lot of students have trouble with that. They say, I'm boring, instead of saying, I'm bored. Uh, so in that situation, you might want to write the word and then write a sentence of how you use it to help them remember how to do that. Um, so. Um, Okay. So something like that. And that would be more useful, I think, um, uh, in how you do it. So this is Quizlet, basically. Um, there, there are lots of things you can do with it. Um, and I, I hope you found it interesting. Um, I, I, I like it. I think it's a good uh, app. Um, I use it on my phone sometimes for Chinese. And, and, and I've used it with my students for English as well. And I think there are lots of things you can do with this. Again, you can use it in content classes, too, as well. So um, you know, please answer the questions we put online on the Google Classroom. And, and if you have questions, you can, you can um, ask questions. We're happy to try to help you with that. So thank you. OK, give me a few minutes. Okay. And later, after our Q&A, okay. uh, you can talk about the reasons and, the, and what is the idea mm -hmm. or your thinking style to bring up the quiz date. Mm -hmm. for the students sure. this week. Sure. Okay. Right. Just tell us the reason why you choose to visit it mm -hmm. and what's your expectation mm -hmm. for to our teachers. All right. No, you know that not all the teachers are English teachers. Sure. Then number two, you get to introduce our topic of next week. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'll give you after our maybe right. ten minutes I get right. to do you know the class Q &A, mm -hmm. and also we want to do the Yo <laughs> <笑>那各位就可以继续填入对不起哈我在中间大概当然在写选项的时候忘了把那个选项拿掉啊这种跑出来的那没有关系各位就知道有时候写那个东西很急促那我想回一下各位的问题哈我回有问题这是那个现在
。好，这是我刚才的那个在这里啊，各位可以在这边念英文。你要念英文的时候就用工具，然后语音输入，然后在这里记得要选英文哦，好、哦。然后就选这个地方，然后各位就点这里。Hello, everyone. We did have a very、uh, happy hour in this afternoon. <笑>后面这个不对啊，不对，不用在意哈、哦，那千万不要在意，因为你念中文你不见得全对嘛哈、哦。那我们就是让各位念一次啊。如果你不想念也没关系，你就整个文章把它 copy 起来就贴回给我们了，那你是百分之百正确。不，重点是在学习啊，哈，这重点在学习。这是第一个，我们会进到我们的那个，嗯、呃、，FB， 然后这个都讲过了 ，Classroom， 我这里就是讲 Blogger 有我们的文章，这个硬碟没关系，你没有进去其实也无所谓，哦，你进去我们的档案，所有档案全部在这里。你如果要我们课程的所有档案进这里就全部都有了，好、哦，然后我们的课程有公告版，请各位进来以后先看公告版，无论如何一定要看。那 Google Classroom 要怎么进来呢？一定要用 Gmail。我再说一次，一定要用 Gmail， 因为我们现在有三百多人进来，所以进来是没有问题的。你你用你的信箱有 at Gmail， 为什么我都我都要有两个呢？因为有些人根本不进入那个 Gmail 去看信的，所以我们有两个收集你们两个信箱，一个是你常用的常用的 Mail， 也许是点 com 的，也许是点 tw， 也许是点 org 来弄那种的。然后我们希望各位用的一定要是 at gmail， 因为用那个 at gmail 才能够进入 Google Classroom。那进入 Google Classroom， 我们这个课程做作业两个地方，一个就是就是在 Google Classroom 里面它有一个影音，那另外有一个就是课程作业。那课程作业就是叫你念读嘛，哦，就是念读那个英文，就只有这两个地方而已，其他都只是额外的了。但我跟各位讲，我们收集了很多资料在相关资源跟练习区，各位可以都进去看。那、啊、今天我们的吴老师花了很多时间在思考问题，哦，其实我们现在就是尊重每一个老师，每一个老师他把教材拿来以后，我都大概就是都是尊重，然后就把它贴出来。不过今天的课程是蛮有趣的哈、哦，那吴老师他非常尽心，而且让各位都做好了。好，那各位现在最大的问题哦，就是当你进到我们课程时候，我帮他修一下。各位最大的问题在这里，当你进入我们的 Google 的 Classroom 的时候。各位目前我碰到最大问题就是要看领音，好，这是我的账号没错哈，那你就进来在这里，在这个影音的部分，那影音的部分有叫各位，你就点这个去看你的影音，这个应该是 next week for week three， 嗯，好，那各位点这里，他就会进去，你就可以点这里以后去看领音了，呃呃，这里并没有看到，我再说一下，这边是有脚胶的，很多人都有看呐、啊。其实这些影片你看绝对有帮助，你可以点这里 ，OK， 你上不行，我点这里应该是可以吧 ？What's wrong？ 对，这里没有错，它进入 ED Puzzle。那你要进入 ED Puzzle， 你要一定要 ED Puzzle 的 account。ED 啊 ，ED Puzzle 的 account， 你要先注册，你要先注册。那注册，我跟各位再讲一次，如果你用电脑，实在是我没有办法，因为那是 E， 那是 ED Puzzle 本身的 bug。你用手机一定可以登录。嗯你用手机，那我可以让各位看这里。我目前总共有贴出几段影片，呃呃，哦呀呀呀 ，This is Python. Sorry for that. <笑> Should be this one. 好，这是我们目前已经贴出来的，到已经有几段影片，一二三四五了。再跟各位讲一次，请各位用手机登录 ED Puzzle， 先注册。做完车以后，你就用你那个一定要用 at gmail 那个账号，好，一定要用。我再讲一次，然后你这样他才会知道，因为你 Google 是用那个账号登录，你下到 ED Puzzle， 他要找相对应的名字，他把你的名字带进来，把课程带进来。那你看这边有很多人都超过两小时了，我们其实很感动了哈，很多老师都非常认真。这一门课其实我的感觉是，教育局只花了几万块钱把它做到这样，其实它它的价值意义非常高。那我们以后会不会续开不知道了哈，各位如果有需要的话，其实可以跟教育局，我们我们继续往后开。但往后开不会是这个课程，我们当然会 invite new speaker， 然后会有更多的模式进来。好，那我其实有在游说那个呃议员呢，看看有没有民间组织愿意来 support 这样的课程。那各位学好了以后，我们希望各位你自己也去开类似的课程，把我们的种子往下播，这样才能够让我们呃数位双语啊哈能够更有意义。好，那已经跟各位讲过了，我再讲一次哦。我们有两个地方，一个就是你要来看 YouTube 的影片，请各位进入 ED Puzzle，ED Puzzle 要申请账号，在哪里有呢？在我们这里都有
我们这里有很多都有在说明，请各位进来看。如果你还有问题，你再贴好不好？我再继续帮忙。但我们进来的人进入一地八走已经有两百五左右的，进入 Google Classroom 已经三百多了。所以如果你有耐心，应该都没有问题。因为我们不是第一次开这个课，我们开了好多课。哦，那 e t p u z z l e 是我们目前会碰到的最大的问题，但应该没有问题了。你用手机再跟各位讲一次，我可以可以跟各位看嘛。你刚才有看到那个名单都是已经进来的。好，接下来我们要来看，要来抽奖了哈，要来抽奖。那我要抽奖的时候必须进到这里来，我们要抽奖了哦。第二周就在这里，对不对？嗯。当当当当，然后就是要按这里，按这里以后呢，这个就是已经回答的。九十三个，上个礼拜有一百零四个， wow. 我们就三个抽了哈， wow. 就三个抽。那还应该大家都结束了，现在十五点四分，我们不做也不行了哈，我们不能等哈，我们不能等，大概都是一百个了哈，一百个我们已经算是很不错了哈。因为有些人他礼拜六有事，他会回来看我们的影片哦、嗯。那我等一下一百个，我会做一个，看看有没有名字重复的，为了公平起见。嗯、呃，现在正在还在跑吧。等一下哦，哦，名字在这，我等一下会跑一下名字有没有重复的哈。好，我就把这个档案呢放在这里，然后下载格式到 Excel， 嗯，到 Excel 我把它下载以后因为有人有两个，我们现在把两个重叠、啊、哦，两个重叠。因为有些有些人怕他没有打进去，没有正确还是什么，他会打两次。好，那现在到这里来，我就启用了，启用我的做法，我会这么做哈、哦，我会在这个地方，这个地方啊哈，把它复制一次。我们假设各位答案都是对的哈，复制一次。那我现在这边有九十五个。然后把它 copy 进来，然后放到这里进来。放到这里进来以后，我这里要把它写 name， 就是各位的名字 N A M E， 好，然后把这个贴在这里。贴这里以后呢，我这边要写 count C O U N T。那这样子的话，它不会让名字重复的，各位放心。一，好可以，然后这个时候我必须要去用那个，我必须去做，然后必须把这个格子通通把它 block 起来。这边有很多高手哈，电脑高手知道我在做什么，知道我在做什么。然后我现在就进到这个枢纽分析，然后把它确定。枢纽分析我选这两个栏位，好。那这个时候呢，我们就可以把它用 number 了哈。我再加入一栏，插入一个栏位。好，那这栏位我们要把它编号了哈。我们从一号开始往下编，一号开始往下编，这是二号。这样子就不会让各位有担心说，哎，重复或什么，这应该名字不会有重复了哈。好，到这个地方。所以我们就有六十六个各位机会增加了哈，六十六个各位机会增加了哈。好，那现在等一下我们就以这个为主哦，以这个号码为主，我们要开始抽号码了哈，我们要开始来抽号码，就是抽到这个号码，我们先第一次、第二次都是假的，第三次我们请那个嗯 ，Doctor Wu 来做 ，Click the button to know what is the result of this week。好啊，那这个我们这个以后再回去找这个人的那个信箱 ，OK。So here， 呃，在数位双屏这里，我好像有一个 Larry， 所以我们现在的 number， how many members we have for today？ It's like sixty six or something. Let me check it again. Wait a minute. Here, here. Uh, 刚才我做的表格。那竟然没出来，在哪里？等一下。哎，刚才那个表单我已经有做完了，对不起，我再找一下。嗯，刚才是六十六还是多少啊？在这里，你再看总数哈，总数是六十三。
，所以我现在那个号码要做到六十三。好，各位记好，号码是六十三，所以我现在就到这里来，我们去做我们的那个六十三。嗯，应该是在，好，就这个好了。那我现在就进入我们这个轮盘了哈。那龙盘上面六十三的，各位机会还是蛮蛮大的，然后龙盘在这里，所以他要叫我产生号码，我们就产生到六十三号就好了。sixty three， 六十三，那六十三以后，我们第一次是假的哈、哦，各位第一次，第一次我来按是假的，咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚，啊，这号码是假的，三十七这是假的，我们再做第二次，他会从一号到六十三，应该都是很公平，他几率比例不会说因为是你一你是一号或六十三号。他不会，他这个是很很公平的，这个也是假的哦，<笑>这是假的，二十九。好，我们现在看真的了。我们请那个，我们请 Doctor Wu Professor Wu to having us in click here is right click. Oh, right click there, right click here. And more tap to here. Okay, right here. Yeah, yes. All right, here we go. Good luck, you all. Ta-da! Lucky number. This week's three. <laughs> lucky number、oh, three. Lucky number three. Okay. So, 跟各位讲，不见得小数就不会。我们就来看看 three 是谁吧，哈<笑>。我要把这个存在网络上，各位都可以知道。三是方，方明。哎呦，这两个名字竟然有点像。三号是方明如。好，那我们接下来就是要做那个通关密语了哦。通关密语哈、哦嗯。那个明子老师你在线上吗？明子老师你在线上，请你回一下通关密语。今天的通关密语，只要讲那个五个模式中的其中任何一个就可以了。通关密语，五个讲中的那个 ，yes 哈，那你打回答一下，五个那个五个模式任何答对一个就可以了。Study mode for quiz， 答一个就可以了。You have answer here on the show then、oh. on the screen. Congratulations， 他写 right， yeah， is that one？ Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 Right. 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 好了，那就恭喜你了，恭喜你了哈。他说 right，、yeah. 谢谢谢谢，各位都有机会。Yeah. 好，那现在时间是四十八分，远远超过我们的预估。我们希望四十五分就要结束， oh. 所以我们给那个呃 ，David， I give you some few minutes to、okay. explain the reason why you choose this topic and also tell us and you know to 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 explain or introduce the <coughs> next week. Right. Topic and content. Alright, maybe I can. Yeah, you can say that. Can okay, you want everybody to see the handsome face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you, not me. Not you, me. You. <laughs> okay, you can move.、Right, so move here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So anyway,、uh, hopefully you found this useful today. I, I really enjoyed doing this with Professor Wen. I think it was a lot of fun, and I look forward to next week. So, yeah. So this week was Quizlet and vocabulary, and、um, I wanted to do that because. Uh, initially,、uh, Professor Wen told me that this was a,、um, a class to help people for self-study,、uh, but also、uh, perhaps if they are teaching. So I thought Quizlet's a good tool you can use by yourself to study, and also if you're a teacher to teach、um, a language or another content subject, as we talked about earlier. So I thought this this、uh, program has multi functions, multi purpose,、uh, so it could do both, and. I like it because you can practice your vocabulary, you can practice your reading,、uh, your pronunciation, your listening, and your writing.、Um, I think I looked at some of the comments, and somebody was talking about, you know, the writing part was harder, and I think that's true. The writing is harder, but I think that's that's good practice for you, and that's that's why I, I hope you can continue with this. So I think this 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 app Quizlet is quite useful for that.、Um, again, as as a self study mode and 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 as a teacher, and again, it's free. Uh, for the basic functions, which I think are enough for most people,、um, if you're a teacher, you might want to think about、uh, paying for it and getting more functions.、Uh, it's up to you.、Uh, but I, I find it quite quite useful again on, on the phone or on the computer.、Um, and so anyway, I, I hope hope you enjoyed it, and、uh, I hope you find it useful. And then uh, next week, uh, next week.、Um, I found a YouTube video.、Um, I think she's Canadian. I think. And she, but she's lived in Malaysia for a long time, and she、uh, gave a speech, a TED X speech about learning a language, communicating, and attitude. And I, I thought it was quite interesting to to listen to what she said. 
And so um, some of the things she talked about, we, we've already talked about today a little bit. When I, one of the questions I asked you about, do you study? And can you find 15 minutes a day to study? And she talks a little bit about this as well, but from a, a slightly different perspective. Um, but again, people talk about it being uh, not having time, it being hard, um, they don't have confidence, things like that. So we didn't talk so much about the confidence part of it, but um, um, that's what she's going to talk more about next week. Uh, but I think having, I think everybody in this class obviously has some motivation, so that's a good thing. And so you probably don't have this problem so much. But I think uh, finding a way to stimulate your students um, or your, you know, your husband, your wife, your kids, whatever, to speak more, uh, maybe you might find some ideas from her. And so I thought that was interesting the way she presented it. Also, as I teach my courses, um, as I did today, even um, I part of the practice we did was talking about America. I like to teach a lot about culture. And so um, she talks a lot about her experience in Malaysia. And I looked at the TEDx comments or the YouTube comments of the video. And it seemed like a lot of people from Malaysia were agreeing with her and, and her description of the, the situation in Malaysia and how a lot of people feel about learning English or speaking English in terms of attitude and confidence. And I'm curious to see uh, what you guys think about that. Do you think it's somewhat similar in Taiwan? Again, don't, don't necessarily think about it from your own perspective. Um, again, a lot of you are English teachers. A lot of you have pretty good English already or good English already. And so maybe you know, these kind of situations don't apply to you, but what about other people in Taiwan? Uh, do they apply to them? What do you think about that? So I think comparing cultures is always quite interesting for me. Um, and secondly, uh, the, the article I wrote related to the video um, talked a lot about um, different resources you can you can use to um, self-study and practice. So again, hopefully some of you will have a chance to check them out. Um, I mentioned TED, I mentioned the British Council, I mentioned Voice of America, and another one, I think. And so I think uh, if you can take a look at those, um, see what you think, and then maybe write some comments in the questions, that would be great, and we can talk more about it next week. So that's basically what I wanted to okay, do. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. David老师,因为他也是到到地地的美国人。那其实如果我们要请本地老师,其实也蛮容易的。因为过去各位在中学时代都是碰到大学时代,都是大部分都本地的老师。所以我们这门课我们就希望给各位能够 get more in touch with the foreigners, you will learn some more clear about the accent. 所以我们下个礼拜,我们这样比较还是有那个 David老师在未来我们会有加拿大的还有会有那个菲律宾的还有一个是美国的那应该都不错了就是各位可以天天他们英文程度都比台湾的好那那些国家那我最后要跟各位提醒我们的正式高雄的报名时间在六月十五这是
好，停止播放，谢谢，拜拜。